guys on Jill Lucky here, back on the video. Yes, this is the thing with the thing off time out if you have watched for Derek Hughes had to come to the court the so pack six so six so five six five or six. Not sure but it's fine, fine. It's a fine. But for now this I find to find some for This is gonna be for this is what I'm gonna be. Yes, I am trying a new one, though I am gonna try to do NZT and and where to go on you and and to go on you, Deku. So I'm, if y'all think I should make another channel for these type of thing, I'll put it in a link below. Not a link, but in the comments below. Because I might, but before how I work, I might not always create my original story on there, so I think so. So, put in the comments below because I'm, I think I sh might should do it. So, I think people who do enjoy this can watch it without having to search for it. So, let's get into this story. Oh, my character, out. Oh. Got no less thing, cause as you think, Alec Williams, yeah, Alec Williams. You know, I'm explaining his world, the world he lives in. Not sure, I'm not, I'm not sure what to call it. If I got a name or what. I got it. What should I call? Put in the comments below. Cause uh, guess what? What should I got to do? I'm gonna see. He's in the world of his world. The world of where Alec lives is a world of magic and skill, and it's just like. Game skill or like it's just this of the dungeon like that like that it's gonna be like that it's not it have skills it's yeah as um <laughs> you know and creature max monster types of creatures summoning yeah yeah you guys know demons angels gods much more as I still got thick of it. A lot more things to add in this time I'm gonna have fun with. You know, we you see our main character Al Williams in bed, just sleeping. As he wakes, you know, he his sister knocks and she doesn't get an answer or the door doesn't open. She gets him knock more but not harder. And from outside we see this is, is outside the door. As she just opens the door and needs to They'll push him, try to wake him up, as, as any cliche thing, he says five more minutes. I keep telling him, he pushes him to wake up. Wake up. Now, as it doesn't work, as he just pushes her off, he just turns to the side. She goes, she, she leaves his room, comes back, but you can tell with a, a body, a, a bucket of water, and she throws it on him. Just wake up, which he just move. He just moves to the non wake because his bed is pretty big, so he just moves to the non wake side. Actually, actually, somewhat size. Uh, you know, I hate doing this. What every time you don't wake up, I have to just wake you up immediately. Which means to get under his covering, just lay on him, and just do so much. Oh, down. As it's to a it gets to his crotch, as she said, he goes to somewhat pull it out of his short. As he freaks out, wakes up, and he gets to crawl to the front of the front of the bed. As what are you doing? You don't hate doing that. Just keep hurry up and get dressed. It's, 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 Ceremony is coming. We got ceremony in 20, 20 minutes, okay? So, as he's opening his glasses, he opens his glasses. Uh, really? Uh, uh, do I have to go? Actually, it's just, yeah, it's happening. And I'll be waiting for this for a long time anyway. Stop playing it. Stop messing around. Get dressed. Actually, this is when I'm going to get out get dressed. It's somewhat of a chain. He has chains on his wrist, along with black outfit, 
a full black out and he has somewhat dark hair and full of black hair like it's it's a lot of black hair that's what dark pupils mm he's -hmm. so, like uh, as he's like I'm ready so as he gets to he walks down the stairs and someone hops on the railing and slides down he hops off just have these six on um, he walks to the to the kitchen table and just pulls him a boy shell for fuck bowl of cereal and eats it. I see you know this as he then sits at the kitchen table waiting for his sister to come down. As you know. <laughs> ah says you don't know how long this is gonna take. Twenty like five minutes later she comes down and Somewhat of a outfit that does not matter. This, what you can tell, can't really tell, but makes sense. This, <laughs> sis, you have to, you have to wear a makeup. This, I was like, shut up. Expect for me to help me look good, look beautiful. Just, as he rolls his eyes, and you eh, respect, as he rumbles some of his belt eyes. She gets close and kicks him because that's ow, oh, what's that for? You know what you said? You know what you said? <coughs> it's fine. As you know. No, they get they leave the house and not to go behind them. As they walk the ceremony ends by the time they get there, the ceremony is already started. His and she says, This is your fault. So, as he looks at just oh, yeah, it's my fault blowing his eyes. If you somehow don't get that sarcasm, that's supposed to be, that's supposed to be sarcasm. How? You know, listen, this, this, he, you know, they get in line and wait. Yes. You no, know, he thinks back. You know, he thinks back on his past. You know, as he wasn't always like, no, no, no. His sister, his sister, his sister, listen, no. Clear. Two gets to think, what and how to change so much. As she thinks, like, let me explain something about uh, his past. Oh, look, he was always a smart kid. The kid got, always got the best grades in class. And also, a teacher, well, that's not like stereotypical nerd in a way. He doesn't have high glasses, actually, look pretty good. He looked handsome, like that. But he did. It was a smart person in the class. And well, it's a teacher's pet. Not a lot of people like people. He has, he has quite a, got quite a bit of friends out around like, I don't know, right on, this is somewhat around, this is somewhat around like, yeah, around um, around like first, second, no, like around fourth, fourth grade. That's you know, time passes. As he started getting bullied, as you know, his grades didn't lack, but it's the fact that, you know, he knew something and, you know, said, you shouldn't let his dad always told him, don't let, don't let bullies get to you. Because, either two reasons, they're hurting inside, or they, it's, they, it's three reasons, they're hurting inside. They're jealous, or ah, no, I, no, mom. Like I said, it's only two reasons. Just I, you know, but you should let them push you around. That's one thing. Never let them get to you, cause that's exactly what they want. It's not to hurt you. And he's always the, um, you know, right behind his younger sister. He was a little ahead of his other sister, which had good grades, but not, like I said, not best, not the best grades like he did. He was always, they was always proud of him, because how he did, but I always paid more attention to his sister, Claire. He didn't mind. He didn't like attention anyway. You know, he didn't like attention. He, so... Uh, around six, you know, has got something happen. It's just a clear, let's see, it's just a clear. 
something happened, like, I think she knows, no one's bullying him, and he dresses different, the man has, he has an amazing clothing style, he has that drip, he, he has a I don't care personality, shit, nothing bugs him, he still has the best grades in the whole school, almost the whole country like that. People do not mess with him. She asked what the hell happened and why his life was changed. But nobody answers. They just walk away the second they say his name. Alex's name. It's, she has no idea why. But she doesn't. She just puts, she just, she just somewhat sways it off. Hmm. Yes, I was, but he said, nothing, nothing happened. I changed. I changed because I wanted to. So now you leave me alone. And that's the exact response he gave her. Which he see, he just looked at it. There's no point snooping around if you can't get anything from no one. Yeah, what if she just gave up? Just stop caring. Stop caring about it, you know. I don't know if she is in high school at this time. In ninth. Yeah, he's in 10th grade. He's in 10th grade. I don't know. His sister is in like <coughs> ninth because she so much sk <coughs> skipped grade. Skip eighth grade, you know. But you know, his her brother, Alex is getting ready to skip two more grades. And, and I'm not sure how to school, uh, getting college. And having up and then skip whole all uh, high school and just go ahead and move to college. But she's not that point yet. Which still surprises her. Maybe better skip college, just go to university. <laughs> she doesn't even know yet. It still confuses her. Yeah, she is a pretty smart person. He's good at the let's, let's go ahead and go. Let's, <clears throat> do that. let's just go back. Let's go back to where we originally were. You see, you know, the line move up as they call it Claire Williams. Uh, at she comes back to reality and she walks up to his sister as a hey, spectator. This is it's gonna fail the sting, make burn, but if I, you'll tell. It will happen. As she puts her hand on the orb. As she feels a burning sensation. As she tries to keep her hand on that as two you see yep scene. Mechanical magic. X. Um. Ah, shit. Not to my head right now. Not mad. Ah, didn't you see? Now let's dig up here. Hero magic. Let me explain hero magic. Hero magic works in the sense of. <clears throat> it's something that curves related in life that fits them perfectly. That depends on how they are. Where they are. Where they are, where they are in life and how they feeling. What their what their mental state is and what they want to do, it, it takes on a lot of factors so to be get the magic. It takes on a lot of things. So anytime you could become destructive magic, like one time it was death magic, which you know you, know, you could already tell how that went. That was truly mental. People who got this one got that magic it was truly mental state. But here is magic is. Though this does really take this on way back in, back in Kingdom Times, right? when heroes were summoned, when heroes were summoned, you all had secondary magic, which you know everybody, mm -hmm. said they already had secondary magic. It's not pertains to them. Which more pertain to them, and anything. Which made them that what that's the reason they were so powerful. Because they had secondary magic. 
like plant magic, yeah, yeah, marble, doesn't really matter at this point, because, eh, not focused on that, as, you know, though, after we stop so many heroes from the other world, some, oh yeah, let me explain it, let me say this now, there are somewhat, you know, I, I, in the sense of, they are pretty advanced, they are, at that point, they are at, like, our level, that's, um, if he imagine after they stop some of the heroes, people start getting hero magic. Secondary magic, I'm gonna call it for now. In the sense that he's already powerful. It's just powerful and gives you more mana. I'm like, yeah, yeah, that point, but it's <clears throat> it's 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 very like it comes giving a random people. And then it can skip over like it randomly chooses this person. Maybe two, maybe three, who really knows? It, all, he never just chooses a person. Oh, he chooses a random person. And he can even skip four, five, twenty, hundred generations before another person with hero magic becomes. As he gets it. Um, be, be, what the fuck the word is? Yes. He can skip over a hundred or a lot of generations before it is given to a person. But when it does, the person is pretty. Oh yeah, I forgot to fucking say this because I. Um, the Williams family is not is known for its powerful magic and skills, but it's not all well too known. It's like, like, it's right in the middle. Just like you would know about them, but you wouldn't if you haven't mentioned them or thought of them a long time. You would forget them. No, that that other way. Everybody just clap and praise her for her magic. Her magic, as you know. You know he caught. He put her to the side, and you know, as he calls up and touches the orb, as nothing happens. He don't feel a burning sensation. He feels nothing. As in, nothing appears. It surprises anybody. Surprises everybody there because the Williams family, you do have every generation up to now had magic or skills, which surprises them as they just brush it off and really doesn't don't care. But as he he decides to say, oh, maybe better, as he you see his <clears throat> just people swarming his sister, he pushes, he goes and pushes the crowd and grabs her hand and just runs off with her. As they get back home, and at that point, they, people are still swarming down, even people are swarming their house at this point now. And she says, oh, oh, why? It's not, but at least it's not me that's sending attention, as his parents <laughs> narrowly get home, or fucking just people swarming them, as I'm like their daughter how is how they feel about their daughter having hero magic? That's probably the mess they run to their daughter and ask if she really has hero magic, or as it's now called secondary magic. And start saying that this if she has secondary magic. But she says yes. Says as they praise her and as you know, the other time so, so as when he kisses, I don't have anything. Looks their faces turn blank. I says. It was from office. Uh, an hour or two later, they call out down as they sit him down at the table. It's only explain how the the kitchen table is like outside the kitchen. It's like, like it's like in the kitchen you have to it's like a you have to walk in. It's not an open. It's like it's just one hall. One hall you walk in. It's like the wall, a counter, like a whole long counter. Go in the, in front of the toilet table is so that's where it is. I almost forgot. I should mention that. That's where the table is. So, and uh, so they sit him down and say, "Top, have a top of him, man." As they say, you have no skills of magic. We love you as a son, but because you have nothing, as we are known, I, I don't you go in our rotation as. Sorry, but you have to go as a tree. What? Huh? As they pull up as a as 
His dad takes a bath with stuff in it. So, yeah, sorry, but you have to go, son. What? What? I think it's for for us. It's, it's just fun. That's fun. When well, he just surprised him at first. What? Nah, he doesn't really care. So, I don't know who asked that. He what? He says fine. As he waves goodbye and walks out of the house. As before he's again out of the house, he get hit. It it's just a sharp pain as he looks back and sees a dot in his shoulder. I just said, "Fuck me, a trank of dark, a tranquilizer." Yeah. As he then passes out, he wakes up in the middle of fucking nowhere in the forest. God damn it. Ugh, ugh. Fucking hurt. As he gets up, he feels a little sore around his shoulder. God damn, I think that'll hurt. He's like, I'm sore. As you know, no, he looks, he takes the backpack out and sees him. A survival, uh, survival, survival book. I can't think of what it would be called, but it has come for now. As he realizes, like it's approaching night. As he reads it, and as he says, if it's getting late at night, you want to build, you want to build a campfire. As he says, like burnt it up, shit, get fuck, find them sticks, dried sticks. More, it got him up, got lost as he does exactly that. As he says, as then it does run through. Uh, oh, why can I think of any damn words? Uh, um, you saw nothing. We saw him too. I yeah, put something please. Things and tell him to what exactly to do about the fire. But he gets it done as he feels it now in the cold as the store morning finds a blanket. As we ship it, so that's not to do for now. As he's somewhat so, uh, a leaf pillow and puts his head on it and slowly falls asleep. Next up the next day, finds the fire is out. It's the blade. It's hot. Now it's fucking hot. Because as it takes the cover off, put it back in the bed. It's day two of being in the forest. <laughs> you don't know how deep I am in the forest. He's silent. <laughs> he saw it sides. As he picks up his bag and oh, go, he looks for the survival magazine. Survival book and is that if if you out here you will be in the forest for the long term. The main thing you will want to make a cabin. As you know, it goes through the stage it says. You no. Know, he tries to get it you know, still trying to error, he does get it make what out he He tries again he just fails a couple of times, more and but he doesn't he just fails and fails, unable to get it done. As he sighs and somewhat yells out afterward. <sighs> so, as his stomach rumbles, I should probably hunt something. As, you know, you know, he thinks of a trap. As he thinks of, he says he knows Karen. You know, as he does have a. Somewhat does have food in his backpack. But he, he doesn't run well enough. It's probably not the last one for him. You just play a stage at the last resort. As he does have carrots. As he smiles. <laughs> and laughs. Chuckles. As he. He lays out a. As he sets up the trap. That's maybe 20, 50 minutes later. He is a. He is like 50. No, 30 minutes later he is. It's the crack sound, the crack sound as he runs from behind some of the broken, unmade makeshift cabin. As he finds the rabbit stuck in it. As he says, yes, yes, that did hit my trap worked. It was simple, 
but it worked. Thank you so much. Grab subscribe by skiers and using a of a a fuck. I love five, not a butterfly knife, but a pocket one, pocket knife. As he somewhat, he said, as he remembers something from his class. It's if you want to kill something faster, snap. If you're trying to kill someone, snap his neck. As he grabs that another guy's neck and he snaps it. I said, sorry. That's how to survive. Said, he somewhat prays but prays for he being skinned. As he just somewhat pushes this bloody pelt, you know, he makes on a rack and a makeshift on a makeshift rack and it making. As he says, so what am I gonna do about showering and well, I want to figure that out when time when I'll figure that out when time comes. Ugh. It's some fucking sock on it. Uh, I'm so sorry if you can hear that. Most likely not, but okay. But by now, let's just fucking get into it. What time? What time? Twelve thirty-six. No wait. 26 actually. Uh, sorry. Ah, so. Pause the video. But uh, fuck, let's get it. Let's back. Let's get back to it. You know? He skins it and. He gets the. You know, skin the meat off of it. As he does, I don't know I heard this term, but. Meat leaning. I have no idea. For now, I said I forgot it. Rabbit leaning. I have no idea. That's because the rabbit doesn't have sand on it. I don't know, maybe it's just getting the meat off of it. Maybe it's just getting the meat off of it. As you know, he leaves the... He just, he just leaves all the guts behind. As you know, he has... As he's uh, not... He's pretty thin. Just, you know, always wanting to pet rabbit. But, you know, but not like this. As he makes a campfire and... So I'll push the rod me all around it as he is a try again. It's time skip a couple of days ahead. Two is in two days as he's still trying as he has kinda cuts a deer. As he's that is a normal thing in skins as he says. The skins take the you know he's you know puts on the rack to dry. Yeah, time skip. Eh, as he gets the pelt and the deer pelt, slow begins to climb up and makes a blanket. Fair is enough. He lost his blanket to a wolf. Yeah. Sucked. As he has been sleeping with our blanket for now. Because two days. He hates it. As you know, takes trying to but he gets it. Eh, it's not good, but it's something, he says, as he stretches and waits for the deer meat. As it, an hour later, it stumps cook. There's another light meter over there. As he, so, he begins to cut the meat into pieces and, and he, not puts up the fire, but he needs to put the meat, the extra meat, he's not, eat, he's not eating somewhere else. Or they just eat it. And time skip five days later. You see him and he wakes up. Uh, oh my back hurts. My neck too. Oh god. It maybe it's it hurts, but it's something at least. I see just stuff they see in him in hey. He yeah, has five minute goddamn cabin. Took it took a long time to do it. Took those five days to get it. It was a snake small cabin when he had it. It's just cause he's gonna want six there trying to pop his back. He cracked his neck, it's Yeah, he couldn't do it. He wouldn't pop. Had a hard time doing it. 
It sucked for him for quite some time. Which he didn't really care. He says it hurts, but that's fine. As you know, he leaves the cabin. And. As he just. Goes out. This. Well, as you know. It's rat and goes to get more meat. There's a meat as he hears. As he sees how I'm he's gone. As he sees like a blood trail. Of like this. Somewhat uh, bearish. Like big feet. Uh, big feet trail actually. I see he needs to follow it. The follow it really leads to a bear. Big ass and bear at that. Just as he somewhat, he goes back and he takes either he has his ass as the uh, it's so glad I brought my axe and the knife. I had to be with it as he gets ready and he gets it to his hands as he used to run as he slashed at it's so upper his leg as right near by his feet as it. Screams as it tries to slash at him. It slashes at him. He, he think, yeah, I might kill this bear. I might not. I'm, this is maybe too, me, too, too much me because he doesn't know it's a magic bear. This is just a magic beast. And because, you know, as you can see. Oh shit, I'm zoning out. As you know, as it tried to piece it, it's a cross swipe slash swipe down. As he sees uh, fire go behind, as he dodges, he's barely dodges. As his his shirt sets on fire, he gets to pat it out. Says, "Oh, oh shit, shit, damn it." So this this bear has a magic core to it then. Well that'll be useful. <laughs> as he as a run and as he tries to slash at him again, he dodges cutting at its upper leg. As he can to slash and I'm at good, but I'm gonna time skip. You see you see the bear just dead. It says <laughs> killed you bitch. Ah oh, worth it. Real generally. You gotta love it. As is, as he comes down. Huh. I already know that had that side to me, but okay. As he skin skins in take his skin, he looks a drag. Slowly drag it back, which by the time he gets back to his cabin, he's slaying it's in the middle of the night. That's what I can tell from where the moon is. He sighs and this is just, uh, this is gonna be a long night, isn't it? And size afterward, it's skin, and <laughs> he gets a pretty big fucking belt pelt. Into in back pelt, but what the fuck? Why can't I remember thing? As he takes his skin and as he does that, he starts putting on the rack to let it dry. As he's gonna get has his new pillow, not pillow, but you know, he has, you know, he's just now as his. <clears throat> Playing case he does put pillow on. Yeah, no. He begins to, you know. Instead chop his meat up in small pieces. Somewhat medium sized pieces as puts puts it in in the on a rack not a separate rack to let dry. As, you know, because you know like since this meat will probably won't last too long if I don't dry it, like dry out. Because it's his whole, this he had a whole lot of couple like a whole thing of wolf meat. That would rhyme because he didn't dry. He says I should probably dry it and turn it with jerky. As you know, who likes to just sit and dry up? As you know, Alec. He's sizing. It's right. He was right where he's going. He is a sound like like a someone like a dog. His eyes as he grabs some of the makeshift, like, like a bandage from the backpack. I feel to run towards the sound. As he runs towards, 
he he sees something and attacking on things slams his axe down as he cuts the thing's head off. As you know, as the body just appears, he's like, what? I see stuff wolf. As he begins to somebody eats it. Eats himself towards it in the one if he's trying to get to help the wolf, he shouldn't immediately run up to it because it would bite him as he the wolf growls on him as he says, I'm not here to hurt you. As he shows his bed, he says, I'm trying to I can see I think part of the time it's it's <sighs> it's wait, I heard it. Yes, I'm just gonna help you as it does try to bite him as it does as he still bandages it up. As it does really it has to be very nice. He said, Oh my shoulder <laughs> Oh God why me them things. As you know. Alright, they put the wolf unable to move, he helps it. He helps it as it says the meat's still drying. But Ah, yeah, I might as well, I might as well use so um, magic core and make some meat. As he begins to take some dried meat, dried, uh, I need to research on animals. You're right, so take some dried meat and it's to crush up the magic core. If you try hard enough, it's not that hard to break. And if he crushes the dust as he sprinkles all over the the <clears throat> I mean as he says it cuts it into pieces and mush it up into mush as he it's the jaw as it somewhat smells it before eating it. It smells it for a while then goes ahead and eats it. And he takes time he watches it eat. As it does, I see a light come from the wolf. As it glow a bright glass it cut his face to protect his eye from the bright glow as he sees that it's gotten bigger and for he has other features which I'm about to come out with later. As his death and got bigger as he says, huh. As his some shift ties as well as he as he tries it close and some rubs his head and it acknowledges him. Then, Goes out to sniff him. He says, Okay, buddy. I'm going to hit the seat. I'm tired. I'm the fuck out. That's what <clears throat> he does. He goes in some, gets on his bed. It's rough wooden bed. And lays down and passes out. As memory, things just appear. As he begins to, you know what? Usually shake and vibrate. As it's concerned, try to push him as. And put in, and push myself forward. Right? This stuff flew up into the air. As he, he just make your origin. You don't need to make origin. I'm praying random origin. As you see a bright red glow. As he opens his eyes and floats down. Floats down and opens his eyes. As you see. Blood of red eyes, and mm, that's what I'm going to drop them off with a cliffhanger. Yeah, I know, I suck. But as for now, I'll do it for out.